If you know Jedi, why are you using your lightsaber? Because we're in hiding. Convenient. Unless you can't do Jedi stuff and that lightsaber is completely stolen. Make me float. For any performer, let alone a child, trying to take on the legacy of Princess Leia and Carrie Fisher is incredibly difficult. I've always thought that Princess Leia honestly is one of the best female characters that's ever been written, and that's also combined with Carrie Fisher. I feel like a lot of times nowadays, people are saying, oh, it's a strong woman and she's tough, and it just kind of means that she's killing everybody. And Carrie was not like that. Carrie, in Princess Leia, you had somebody that was a rebel, was a fighter, but she was also intelligent, she was funny, but she could also be warm, she could be loving. And she really kind of had this multi-dimensional characterization that was just wonderful. but Vivian just kind of had the essence of her, and I think that was the main thing. She had all of the wit and cheek of Carrie Fisher's Princess Leia. She had the same job to do as I had with Alec. I've got four children who are girls, so I'm sort of familiar with the looking after of girl children. And although Obi is not a father, that's what she brings out of him through the arc of our series. More paternal sense to him that life isn't just about living by the book. And at first, he doesn't trust her to be able to look after herself and then slowly realizes she's not only able to, by the end, she's absolutely involved in the escape. So he's found a trust in her and she brings out a more human side to him. One of the things for me that I really wanted to acknowledge in the series without getting too heavy handed about it was this sense that, you know, there's obviously been a lot of focus on Luke Skywalker and his contribution to the galaxy. But I feel like with Princess Leia, I don't think he could have done it without her. And she was the one who organized all the rebels. She was there fighting the war. She was there kind of doing all the other side of it. And I think the two of them really, they did it together in a lot of ways. That was something that I really loved about the series is that we were getting a chance to acknowledge that she played a pivotal, pivotal role in allowing everything to happen as it did. I didn't know Vivian before we started and so the storyline and the reality of shooting are somewhat side by side in that we didn't know each other very well and then we sort of got to know each other better and better as we shot the series. So it, it went hand in hand really. She was never anything but fully enthusiastic and She's a passionate actor. I really thought that she 
nailed it. Like I, I could feel Princess Leia in her, you know. I remember clearly the first time I saw Star Wars. Hello there. It's a surreal world to be a part of. Coming back to it after all these years was very meaningful to me. My first day on set, I shouted, Obi-Wan! I saw a hand go up. I feel hugely fortunate to be able to do this, but also a big responsibility to trying to do it right. Obi-Wan Kenobi is an iconic character. I don't think I'd imagined the scale of the series. It blew my mind. So many people have such an emotional relationship to the Star Wars galaxy. It's in everybody's life. If you enjoyed this episode, and frankly, even if you didn't, don't forget to subscribe. Do it! And if you want to help spread the word, please give this video a thumbs up and tell your friends to subscribe. Please check out the official Star Wars Coffee merchandise, and don't forget to check out all of the content playlists on this channel, including The Rise of Skywalker, The Mandalorian, and much more.